SAP 2000 offers many powerful graphical display tools, but it also offers a robust environment for the creation and formatting of tabular displays. Under the display menu, there is the option to show input, output, and design tables. This example will focus primarily on the output tables. Check the frame forces box and click OK to view the table containing member forces for our small truss problem. We can start to modify the layout of this table by going to the Format command, click on the Axial Force or P row, and put a check in the Modified Field Name box. Change the name to Axial Force and click OK. Note that the column name has changed. Go back to Format, click on the Axial Force row once again, and change the field alignment to Center and the field width to 1.2 inches. Click OK to see the changes. Click on the Axial Force row one final time and uncheck the Always Display in Current Units box. Select Pound Units from the drop-down box and click OK. Note how the units have changed for this column but that the other results remain in KIP units. Next, remove all the results except for the axial forces from the table by selecting the rows and unchecking the Include Field and Report box. You may also do this by double-clicking in the Field Name box. Only the axial forces remain. One of the most powerful capabilities of the Show Database command is the Filter option, whereby you can select an operator to filter your report. In this case, select the Axial Force line and click in the Operator column. Select the Greater Than operator and type in a filter value of 5000. This will result in a table which displays output only at stations where the axial force exceeds 5,000 pounds. Note also that the applied filter is shown in the top left hand corner. Another powerful option is the table sorting feature. Click in the sort by field and select P. And If we do not check the descending box, the table will be sorted in ascending order. Once we have set the table up in the format we desire, we may save the formatting changes to a file so that we may reuse this format style on future tables. Name the format style Table Format for future reference. To see how saving the formatting to file works, exit the Show Database command by clicking on the Done button and go back to the Display Show Output Database Table command. Check the Frame Forces box and click on the Table Formats File button. Select the default Formats option and click OK twice. Note that the table generated with the default settings reports all of the force values for all of the stations. Next, repeat the Display Show Output command for Frame Forces and again click on the Table Formats File button. But rather than use the default settings, Select the Formats from User Defined file and choose the previously defined Table Format file. This time the table is generated as previously formatted. Tables may also be displayed in Microsoft Word or other formats by going to the File Display Current Table command. This allows for the quick and easy preparation of professional looking reports. Although this example has focused primarily on the output tables, the same formatting capabilities exist for the input design tables as well. For the input tables, check the joint coordinates box and click OK. 
The same type of format features are available for this table, including the filter operations. For the x-coordinate, select between from the operator column and type in minus 200 and 200 for the filter value. This will generate a table populated only with joints having an x-coordinate between minus 200 and positive 200. The data in this table is not editable. You must go to the Edit Interactive Database Editing command to change the values. The Display command tools are only for the reviewing and preparing of reports from the model data. This concludes this example.